Hello, hello, hello! What's happening, everybody? MCOC Droid does back again for another video on Marvel Contest of Champions. So, I've been teasing this for a little bit. Uh, well, first of all, by the time you're watching this video, it is Monday, July the 1st. So, my birthday is in exactly two weeks from today. It is Monday, July 15th. Uh, for anyone's curiosity, I'll be turning 33. So, I've been... Uh, wanting to to do something a little bit special for it and I'm doing a couple of things first up I have been hoarding a lot of my well all of my five star shards and now six star shards as well to do one big birthday opening um, I'm gonna do that on a live stream the the main reason was to wait for actually I think I'll show you the champion instead um, the main reason was to wait for Nick Fury he gets added into the basic on uh july 2nd that's tomorrow and i wanted to save up shards for him it was kind of more when i was thinking about potentially doing like a 6.1 legends run or even a 6.2 legends run i wanted to get nick fury as a five star uh to get his synergies and things like that i do still really want him um i love his synergy with captain marvel that would be epic to have on a regular basis and then again a lot of his other ones uh but the idea was to hunt for fury the new five star featured crystal is dropping tomorrow as well it's the contents have been leaked assuming that it's accurate we'll see how it goes but some of those feature champs in there specifically namor and cole obsidian would be amazing to pull as well so haven't fully decided what it will be but the thing for sure is that i've been saving my five star and six star shards to do a big birthday opening then the thought occurred to me well how about for my birthday i give back to you all um, I just wanted to do a little thank you, do a little celebration, kind of add to it, make it a little bit more exciting and add a competitive aspect to it in a friendly manner, of course. So I'm doing this little giveaway, uh, as you can obviously see by the title of this video. So it is involving my five star shards. Um, so if you are wondering, first of all, why is a giveaway video like this so long? Let me talk to you about how I want to, how this video is going to go, uh, just so you are prepared so you know what's coming ahead of you. So first up, I'm going to talk about the giveaway itself, the rules, and I'm going to talk about the prizes, and then at that point, if you want to tune out, by all means, go ahead, you can put in your guess, and good luck to you, but once I get through all that, I'm going to talk about my plans for these next two weeks, and what I have in store, and what I'm going to work on. Um, and what I'm not going to work on just for those who want to stick it out to the end of this video you have a bit of a not necessarily an advantage but certainly a clearer picture as to how this is going to end so first and foremost let's talk about what is this giveaway really simple I want you to guess how many five star shards you think I am going to end up with on Monday July 15th uh, so as you can see, right now I am at 63,777 five-star shards. Uh, it's a good amount. I've been saving for a little while now. Um, but again, like there's still two weeks to go. There's a lot of stuff that's going to be happening. Um, a lot of stuff and content and what have you that I'm going to focus on. So again, I want you to guess down to the specific number of shards that you think I will end up with for five-star shards only. I am saving my six-star shards, but it has nothing to do with the giveaway. Um, it's just something else that I'm saving. So, yes, get it down to the exact number. Don't round. If you round, you're going to lower your, your chances of actually being accurate. So, the exact number of shards that you think I'm going to end up with for five-star only come Monday, July 15th. Uh, sometime that morning. I'm aiming for the live stream to be around 9 a.m. Pacific time, so 9 a.m. my time, but we'll see how that goes. Um, and that's it. So this is absolutely going to be Price is Right style for those of you who understand that reference. It is going to be the 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 winners are the ones who will be getting act the actual closest number without going over. So right now, if this was my final number and you guessed that I had 64,000, even if somebody else guessed 50,000, they would be correct because your 64,000 is over the total number of shards that I would end up with. So again, Price is Right style, the actual closest number without going over. So what can you win? Um, well, we are going to start with three prizes. And I say start, I will get to that in a second as well. So 
I'm going to try and keep it as simple as possible this time. It got a little complicated last time, um, so I'm going to kind of narrow it a little bit um, and say that it'll be revolving around mostly iTunes and Google Play gift cards. We all pretty much use those, either for the game itself, or maybe you use it in real life, or music, or movies, or apps, or or whatever. So, uh, third place is going to be a $10 iTunes or Google card. It will be whatever you're using. Um, I don't want to, I don't want to restrict that either and say, you know, only, you know, third place is only a $10 iTunes card or second place is only a Google card or something like that. No, it, of course it will be whatever operating system you use. So third place is going to be a $10 iTunes or Google Play gift card. Second place is going to be a $20 iTunes or Google Play gift card. And let's get let's get back to, to first place in a second here. Let's talk about how the prizes will expand. So again, there'll be three prizes. As I mentioned, I'll get to the first place prize in a second. For every 10 people that participate, and they have to be 10 unique people, it's not just one person doing 10 guesses or anything. For every 10 people that participate, I will add an additional $10 gift card prize. So if 10 people participate, we'll have four prizes. If 20 people participate, we'll have five prizes, and so on and so forth. I will be checking on a daily basis, probably multiple times a day actually, um, in order to look at people's guesses, acknowledge them, and respond to them with their exact guess. So no trying to edit your comment or anything like that um, after the fact. Once I see it, I will respond to it, and then it is locked in. I will keep it uh, separately on a spreadsheet on my computer to keep things nice and organized. So I didn't talk about the first place prize. The first place prize is actually a little bit of a cross promotion, semi sponsorship, if you will, not really a sponsorship, but, uh, so there is this Twitter user named universal soldier. Let me go ahead and throw up his, uh, the top of his profile. There we go right there on Twitter. Um, he does these unique avatars. They're, they're very much MCOC related, but they're kind of Marvel related in general. He does some fantastic work. Again, go follow him on Twitter if you don't already. Uh, his contact information is there in the picture and it will be down below in the description as well. In case you are interested, check him out. Um, he, he's done some work for me before. He helped me with the banner for my YouTube page. It was very kind of him, but primarily he did my Captain Beardo avatar that I use pretty much everywhere. I use it on Twitter. Um, I use it here on YouTube and I use it online as well, where he actually has made me an animated version. It's a uh, cap running in place right there. So he can do still avatars or he can do animated avatars. Um, both are available. Both are really cool. Again, let me, let me get mine back out of the way. Um, Again, you can see some of the ones he's done up top there, and he's he's got so many. Um, literally, I'm recording this on Sunday, but uh, you're seeing this on Monday. Literally earlier today, I saw one that he did of the entire um, X-Men animated series uh, title sequence with the insanely catchy theme music. Ah, oh, so cool. The point is, he does some great work, so check him out, hit him up. Um, but I have talked with him, and I will be paying for a avatar of the first place winner's choice. So again, he can do stills or he can do animated avatars. If you get animated, the stills are automatically included. Um, he'll provide you with both. So it will be entirely up to you. You can pick your character. You can pick, you can get your, your name in there. Again, if I throw mine up, you can see um, I've got the legend tag in game. So I asked him to do it as well. You can do that on yours if you like. Um, yeah, we can, we can go nuts. So I can either contact you and him directly. We can have just a, a shared email chain going, or you can talk to me and I can talk to him however you want to work it. So I am putting up as a maximum, you can pick either one animated and one still. Now, again, those would be two different characters since if you get the animated, the still ones are included free of charge. So if you pick the animated, if you like, you can do an additional uh, still avatar as well. If you only want to go with still avatars, then I will be paying for up to three of those. If you wanted to have three unique designs, different characters, anything like that, by all means, go for it. It is on me. It is going to the first place winner. Now, if for some reason you don't want any of this stuff, you don't want the avatars, then I will be happy to do a equivalent um, iTunes or Google Play gift card. And I will contact the second place winner 
and ask if they are interested in it and so on down the line. Um, if it does get down to like second place or third place or something like that, it may be a reduced prize package, but it will still be at least one avatar. So uh, shout out to Universal Soldier. Thanks for doing this, this tie-in with me. Um, really do appreciate it. And yeah, it's really cool. Again, even if you don't win this, check him out. He does some really great stuff. Um, so again, if you are not interested in listening to my full breakdown of the next two weeks, then feel free to stop the video right here, make your guess, put it in the comments below. Good luck to you. Um, for everybody, again, I will be live streaming on Monday, July 15th, around 9 a.m. Pacific time. So the cutoff is pretty much that morning. Um, it'll be around eight o'clock or so in the morning. So be sure to get your guesses in. Okay. So if you are still here, that means you are interested in hearing about what I plan to do, what I plan to not do over these next two weeks. So again, I am at 63,777 five-star shards as of the recording of this video. Excuse me. So what am I going to do? What am I not going to do? Let's actually start with what I'm not going to do. What is not going to be included? So the biggest thing, of course are the 4th of July deals. Those are coming on the 4th of July, obviously. Um, that'll be in three days. That is this Thursday. We have no idea what the deals are going to be. Um, there's no way to anticipate, uh, you know, whether it's going to be shards or full crystals, whether it's going to be, you know, champion crystals, like five star, six star, something like that. Or maybe it'll be awakening gem related. Who knows? Um, and I don't know personally if they'll be good or not, just like the rest of us. I don't know how much I'm going to spend, if anything. So anything July 4th related will be off the table. Now I will, no matter what, I'm doing a video that morning. I will break down those deals. If I buy any of them, I'll be doing a separate opening video. But again, nothing that comes from that will be counted. So that includes if for some reason I, I dupe a four star or something like that, nothing will be counted. Again, I will try to keep it as as clean and separate as possible based on what the deals are and if I end up buying them, how much I buy, et cetera, et cetera. So that will be included in that video somehow, even if it's just a super duper quick blurb saying, hey, don't forget, this is not including the giveaway. Um, we'll figure that out. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. That's the phrase. The other thing I'm not going to include are these, the, the class trip thing. This is going to be the side quest of the new event quest that's starting in a couple of days. Um, again, only, only the first two chapters are going to be available anyway, by the time my birthday hits on the 15th, because this is kind of similar to Gwenpool goes to the movies and every week a new chapter will open. I may just to save some time. I may knock out some like the super duper easy ones, um, just to kind of get them out of the way. But again, those won't have any four star shards, five star shards, anything like that. Um, so it shouldn't affect it anyway, but I wanted to officially put the disclaimer out there that these will not be included in any way, shape or form, no matter what. So let's start talking about what I am going to do. Um, again, the new event quest starts in a little over two days from when you're seeing this video. Uh, it'll be, you know, Wednesday, 10 AM per usual. And, uh, the plan is I want to get heroic master and uncollected all done in those first two weeks. I know it doesn't sound like that much, but um, just because they all have five star related rewards, I want to get them all in to get as many shards as possible, not just for the giveaway, of course, but for the opening. I want that opening to be as big as possible. So I did a real quick breakdown here. Um, I've got my little cheat sheet next to me. Heroic is easy. It's a thousand five star shards. Um, there's no other chapter related rewards or anything like that. It's just a straight 1000 five star shards. Boom. Nice and easy. So that'll be included. The master rewards just got bumped up these this past month. I mean, the heroic did as well, but again, it didn't include any extra five star shards. The master rewards got bumped as well. So it is a grand total of 2,750 shards. As you can see, each chapter has 250 shards. And then the, uh, the 100% exploration gives you another 2,000. So that's 2,750 just for Master. Uncollected has not changed. Um, the rewards are still the same there. So that is a grand total of 7,500 five-star shards. Um, again, just between the three separate chapters and then completion and exploration overall. So yeah, 7,500 for Uncollected as well. 
The other big thing, and maybe I'm maybe I'm getting ahead of myself. Maybe I'm potentially biting off more than I can chew. We'll see. Um, but I'm not too worried about it. The other main thing that I'm going to do is I would like to get my first run done of Act 6.2. I just became Cavalier about a week or so ago. Um, I got 6.1 done, obviously. I've just done the one run. I don't want to... I'm not going to work on that anytime soon. I mean, I will, but, you know, I'll chip away at it here and there. These next two weeks, though, are going to be focused on Heroic Master Uncollected and the first run here of 6.2. Now, this will be good, and this will be big, of course, because for the first completion... Boom, you get 10,000 of five star shards. So that'll be a nice, hefty addition to the pile. Um, it, it does also have these Cavalier crystals. I don't know. We'll see how I'm going to treat those. Um, yeah, I'm not entirely sure. But uh, I'll probably save those. Maybe even open them separately from, from Monday's opening. I'm not sure. Because, of course, they could just be three stars. But they could be four stars. So... Who knows about that? But again, to recap, the main goal is to do Heroic, Master, Uncollected, and 6.2 all in the next two weeks. So we'll see how that goes. Now, for those of you who follow my channel, you know that I do a weekly crystal opening every Sunday. Um, I will not be doing one. I will not be doing one this upcoming Sunday, which is the 7th. Um, I just want to add to my opening on the 15th as much as possible, even with you know, three stars and four stars and stuff like that. So that is going to get saved through these next two weeks. And that will all be included on the July 15th opening to make sure that I am entirely clear. Again, I have said that the, the correct number of shards is going to be whatever I end up with on July 15th. So that means all of my four stars that I do that day, if I get any dupes, those are included. The Max Sig Crystals, which I have been saving and I have not opened. And as of right now, I have... Uh, well, I have those, but I'm in, I'm referring to the 5-star Max Sig Crystals. I have 19 of those as of now. I'm sure I will have more come that Monday the 15th. All of those shards will be included. So, again, to recap, before I open any 5-stars on Monday the 15th, I will be opening everything else all of my usual weekly crystals that i do the premiums the the three stars the four stars the the max sigs all of that stuff so the official five star shard number will not count until all of that is done first so take that into consideration be very careful with your guess um i i, I think that kind of covers it the only other thing uh, the only other topic that I wanted to talk about real quick, just because this current event quest is still wrapping up, um, are the rifts. So I've done four of the epic rifts so far. Um, those have all been posted on the channel. I have done number five as of the recording of this video. I've done number five and I've recorded it. You have not seen it. It's coming up either later today or tomorrow. I will spoil it and I won't tell you what I get, but I will tell you that it is not five star shards. I mean, if it was, it wouldn't matter. It's still included in the, the count that you're seeing here in this video, but it is not included in those. If I do, well, I am going to do at least one more, probably two more of the Epic Rifts. It, it'll be close, but it should be doable. Um, if I do those, then of course, those will also be posted to the channel. Um, I'm not gonna show my, my current five star shard total, you're just going to have to do the homework yourself and make your guess based off of potentially that or not that. Again, it's going to be it's going to be on you. I mean, if you're here right now, if you're still watching this, that means you're willing to do your homework. Um, but again, obviously, there's so many factors when it comes to five star shards. I mean, there's the arenas. I don't really do that much arena. I mostly just do the milestones and the four star basic. And that's about it. This time I, I didn't even get a chance to finish. As you saw, I just barely broke a million. Um, I mean, there are Alliance Wars, there's uh, Summoner Advancement for this week ahead and next week. That'll all be included. The Alliance three-day events, the AQ completion event, all that kind of little stuff. It all adds up. So take your best shot. Put your guess down below. Like I said, it is Price is Right style. So it's going to be the winner is going to be the closest without going over. 
so on and so forth. Um, I think that covers it all. If you have any questions, by all means, put it down in the comments below. I will respond. I will make sure as many people hear about it as possible. Uh, but again, one guess per person. So once you get it in and once I have acknowledged it, it is locked in. So make your guesses carefully. Good luck to everybody. Again, this is not meant to be like super duper competitive and and all that. It's just a fun thing that I wanted to add to my birthday and to give back to you all just for saying thanks for, you know, another year around uh, the earth and uh, another year of YouTube, etc, etc. So yeah, uh, thank you for watching, especially if you stuck it all the way to the end here. I very, very much appreciate that. Be sure to hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure you ring that bell and turn on all notifications so that you see the content coming up this week and next. You are ready for that live stream on July 15th um, and everything else in between and past that. So yeah, all of that really, really helps me out and I greatly appreciate it. Shout out again to Universal Soldier for doing this uh, cross promotion with me. Again, hit him up if you're interested in any of his work or getting some avatars of your own. And that is it. So thank you one more time for watching. Take care. Good luck to everybody. And I will see you next time.